All right, guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Thanks for dropping by. Uh, we're going to continue along on this um, emoji project today uh, that I sort of started uh, a little while back. And then I got sort of busy. And then uh, on the Saturday stream, we, we, we did some eyebrows. Tonight, we're going to do some eyes and probably some noses as well maybe we can go a little bit further but uh i'm not sure how long i want to stream uh so um yeah let's uh let's jump into it um here we go uh i'm i'm doing this also with a sort of a new setup uh i've got my uh shotgun mic uh, boomed out of frame and then um i'm not wearing the headphones so i can't really hear what the signal sounds like but i have done some test recordings so the signal might be a little faint, but I tried to boost it anyway. I can, I'm, I'm still learning all this stuff, but uh, I also learning how to switch views and stuff in the OBS. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's go for it. All right. So um, this is where I left off last time. And um, so yeah, like today, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working on the eyes, like I mentioned just a moment ago. So the first thing I want to do is uh, jump in and let's see, I'll create a subcategory. We'll call this one eyes. All right. And then uh, what I did before is I just kind of, uh, I took some of the assets from my preliminaries, uh, some of the components from my preliminaries, and I brought them in and sort of um, started there. Uh, here, uh, the eyes that I have, are, I have a couple of groups of eyes. I have this group right here, which is pretty good. And I have this group right here, oh, which is pretty good. Uh, oops. Something's weird about that one. Oh, I accidentally, uh, you know, uh, toggled their visibility. Uh, anyhow, let's uh, get to it, shall we? Uh, um, I'll keep checking to see if people drop in, but uh, I don't expect anybody's going to drop by. I just wanted to practice streaming. If anybody catches this, you guys feel free to uh, slam and critique me in the comments uh and, and it is the most curmudgeonly among you who uh i draw my uh evil power from so uh roast roast away if you must i, I gotta tell you i i like the way these eyes are looking right out of the box these are pretty good he looks real happy i don't even want to change them um so what i'll do is i'll move these over and so, yeah, uh, this project, the way that I'm sort of approaching it is sort of a pasteboard type of thing. It's really roasting out here in Korea today. I may have to, like, um, turn on the air conditioner in a minute, and it might create, like, just a little bit of, like, I don't know, some kind of noise, uh, you know, uh, because I've got a noise removal filter in place in OBS, but uh, every time I use it, on a recording it seems to create some sort of a garbled like digital noise signal so we'll see maybe i can get away with uh, running the air conditioner if it gets too hot in here but yeah we'll see i think i can handle it i think i'm strong enough yeah that's nice all right and so what I want to do is I want to start to edit that stroke a little bit. Like we want to get that down to a sort of a, well, maybe, maybe we need to bring this down a little bit like that. Yeah. I want each, the thing about the emojis is uh, it can't look cut and paste, even though technically some, in some parts, I am sort of cutting and pasting. I realize that, you know, you, you, if you want things to sort of be, uh, if you want things to, <laughs> it's kind of an interesting expression. It's almost like, like sarcasm or, or some, something. Oh, anyway. Yeah. That's, that's interesting. So, but yeah, like 
uh, even though I am sort of copy and pasting the elements, I'm, I want to make sure that my um, I want to make sure that my uh, expressions remain fairly, you know, uh, unique. Each one needs to be unique. It needs to have its own sort of voice. We want these to be sort of fat near the end. Actually, I can use a simple ramp for this, right? And then just make sure that the width is changed a little bit, but there we go. Something like that. That'll work, right? That kind of works. It needs to appear as though, oh, what if it was like this? Yeah, maybe that's better. It's sort of like uh, the muscles are like pushing the cartoon, the rubbery cartoonish eyebrow up. So it's kind of got like that situation going on. Then we'll get in here and pull that in, pull that up a little bit and then rebounce it like this. Bring that down just a smidge. Something like that makes it, makes it more better. Let's see, duplicate. Oh no. Why are you so sad? Let's um reshape this guy just a little bit. Okay, time to get time to get it's weird, it's like uh old habits die hard, you know, you pick up the mouse and you just get going with it and then you realize life could be so much better if you were working with a stylus. Oh man, crap. Hold on. Let me uh, check my uh, tablet driver. Yeah. Let's see here. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Good to go there. Stream health is excellent. All right, we're good. Okay, move this over a little bit. All right, so uh, a lot of times I always like to tell everybody uh, it's probably best to turn your snapping off, especially, I don't know, snapping, to me, uh, if you're going to illustrate something using vector tools uh, while you're working, the snapping it's not really helping you unless it's, uh, it, you know, it's different. I feel like snapping really shines when you're doing like design work. But if you're doing like illustration work, uh, you know, of course, you, you need to have some precision ability in there. But when I'm trying to illustrate and I'm trying to draw things freely, the snapping always gets in the way. I have to make decisions about the, these eyes. And so I'd, I'd actually like to do that now. I'm going to cut those and paste them here where I can get at them real easily. See. I want to stick with Huion's like sort of what I'm what I'm calling what I'm calling their house style, but I mean I don't know what they they call it, but what I want to do is um I want to sort of I have to make a decision about you know how that's going to play out how it's going to play out. What I need to do is um see like here if you look at um, some of the reference material for. Do I still have my references in this project? I think I deleted them. Yeah, I deleted those. No big deal. But um, most of the drawings uh, of most of the drawings of Leon, this character here of theirs, um, they, they depict him with these giant blue. Uh, eyes without pupils in them, or I'm sorry, with massive sort of dinner plate sized pupils in them with no whites, right? The, he, he basically, he, he has no whites of his eyes because I guess it just uh, doesn't juxtapose well with the, the white of his uh, sort of skin tone. So um, there's, oops, there's a situation there with that that needs to be like sort of understood when you get into the work. So I'm, I'm trying to decide like, do I sort of brave the 
the troubles that come with that? Um, or do I sort of expand it and, and, and sort of break the rules a little bit, uh, the, the, the established norms, and then, you know, get those like comic or cartoon sort of Bugs Bunny eye whites in there? Haven't really figured that out yet, but we'll keep this in place just to see. And then I'm actually going to duplicate it real quick, and then I'll, I'll, uh, I'll change it to white so we can sort of see how, we, how it might stack up. So I'm actually going to label this uh, white eye and then uh, blue eye. I feel guilty calling it blue when it's not really a blue, but you know what I'm saying. See, so, I mean, right now against the gray background, it looks great, but you know, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's not gonna look great against a. Let's let's just see. Yeah. See, like that makes a lot more sense than what would like this. This makes sense also, but you're gonna have to do some outline work and there's going to have to be some work that involved in there that that might be a little weird. I don't know. This is going to be uh, this going to be tricky figuring that part out, but, but we'll get there. All right. Cool. So I'm actually going to turn those off for now and keep on moving. Oh, wait. Did I uh did I flip and reverse this? I'm not sure, so I'm just going to do it again. Yeah. And I kind of want to make... I, 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 want, I want to go for a little bit of asymmetry in all the designs, because I want it to look like... I want it to be a little more organic, you know? I'm, a, I'm trying to avoid, like, overly symmetrical stuff. It just sucks the life right out of it. And, well, at least... It, in my opinion it does so yeah let's see if you jump in and you're and you're watching this stream guys don't hesitate to um you know let me know uh if you can hear me if you can see things well if the stream's health is uh suffering somehow i'll try to sort it out right here on the fly if i can with uh, the filters and stuff but um, I have no way of knowing unless somebody like drops in and says hey I can't hear you you know why don't you turn up the volume loser and then I'll be like oh okay thanks mister <laughs> all right do I want to use the rounded the rounding tools or do I want to do it myself all right let's try two things I'm going to duplicate let's just see which one turns out better when you have when you're faced with choices like this, uh, one of the best things you can do is just like do to do some experiments, right? So this will be uh, the 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 cornering, the corner test of it. What I want to do is uh, I want to get like these nice like sort of rounded tips on them. I want them to be appear sort of soft, right? Because uh, we want this feeling to appear soft. We don't want it to appear sharp. I don't know why, but when you're all struck at something, it's not like a sharp feeling, right? It's like, it's almost like you, you're, you're so impressed that you've lowered your, uh, defensive defenses somehow. And your, your, you know, your ego is taking a back seat Cause even your ego sort of like jaw dropped and your ego is like, wow, this person is really amazing. So like the power of all is, uh, it's a softening power, right? Um, and then this one, what we'll do is we'll convert it to curves by command enter. And then uh, maybe I should turn on my uh, hang on, my cursor too so you guys can see what's going on with that. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll, I'll hold down option. I'll select a group of nodes. This is going to be fun. All right, check this out. How do I do this? Uh... <laughs> okay cool and then what i'll do is i'll uh, soften those up now this is more about this is more what i had in mind like this see look at the difference there 
it's uh it's so subtle but it's not using a circle to sort of compute the rounding of it it's actually just um taking that node and uh you know creating this uh, sort of equal equal set of handles on it uh, with with uh, the ability to to edit them so i feel like the effect is much nicer um it's much more what i had in mind so sorry um shape tool this is not what i had in mind all right cool and now we just uh, get a little bit of this action going a little bit of this oops a little bit of that trying to stay true to the sketch right and then um hmm i can tell with this part of the sketch i'm not sure if i want to do outlines on these or not i'm going to throw some outlines on these just in case um maybe a stroke let's see what it looks like with a stroke and then we'll have to reset the stroke and maybe drop it down a little bit all right well i kind of like that it's in line with the cartooniness of the whole thing and then i'm thinking also that maybe that's what's missing from this situation here with the blue eyes maybe we just um we add a stroke to them as well just this one thank you and then we'll drop that down to three as well and then maybe maybe even lower than that maybe even 2.5 or two what's this okay there are two all right i want to try to maintain some level of consistency right so i'll group those together we'll come back and we'll get the other stars uh in a minute but i like where we're going with that one that's nice if i if i really um if i don't get caught up too badly uh, maybe i can get through the eyes the noses and perhaps even the mouths we'll see all right hmm uh, i could use a heart tool for this one but um i feel like what's going to happen with the heart tool is like it's going to give me a heart that I don't want, but I've, I don't know. We'll see. I've got ideas about it. Let's, um, here's where I want to start pulling in some different colors. Now he's already got this sort of cyan thing going on. So I kind of want to like get maybe like, uh, the heart. I want to have a, a red that, oh, okay. Let's try the red that goes with the inside of his mouth. That is a nice place to start, but maybe maybe the heart tool will get us where we need to go i don't know it seems it seems so let's try um for this one i need to zoom in here i want to make sure i want this i want this heart shape to appear rather sharp so we're gonna we're gonna do a little editing here oops we need to control that, yeah. I've got this idea. And the reason I want it to appear sharp like this is because I want it to appear like um, as though it's actually like lending a little bit of motion to the to the situation where it's like I want it to appear as though they've sort of not only have his eyes become hearts, but they've sort of like stretched out in excitement, you know? So like it's not your typical like, you know, um, it's not your typical heart situation. It's like they're stretchy. And then this, I want to put, um, I want to put a sharp angle there and then increase the miter to five. Ooh, nine. That's too much. Eight. But I guess after, at a certain point, it doesn't really matter, right? Let's see how far I can get it. So I was almost, I was close. So six is there and then five didn't do the trick so six did the trick all right um somebody with much more technical knowledge than me could probably tell you why not setting that thing too high is i mean setting it like you know like man i would love to see uh, like seriously uh affinity if i would love to see well i guess you couldn't really do that like i was gonna say i'd love to see like behind the scenes stuff of like you know there we go the 
behind the scenes like sort of stuff about you know the programming of this stuff because i would love to learn about that but uh, unfortunately probably it's not i mean i mean it's probably not a good idea to give away your trade secrets but um i bet you guys have some fascinating people working for you talking to you affinity okay cool it's a little bit too elongated isn't it so if i come up stay true to the drawing always try to stay true to my sketch like right off the bat and then we can get creative a little bit later on and uh what i'm thinking is uh for this one uh the, maybe the warp tool it was going to come into play and help us get that really exaggerated like stretchiness that we're after but for right now that's pretty good and then maybe there's something a little bit too exaggerated about this so what i need to do is probably like um actually oh no and then this one and it should i guess it doesn't exactly have to be the same right just want to make sure that i cut down on that over exaggeration of the depth of it it's it's a little too deep i don't know if you uh, what i'm saying is this area right here it's like cutting too deeply into the shape of the heart sort of relieving it but i think like what will happen is uh if i add like a secondary heart as a pupil like this then that'll take care of that because uh in my original design that's exactly what i've done something around along these lines so we'll group those together dupe them scoop them uh, and there we go it's still it's it's not quite right maybe it should look something more like that You're gonna have to solve that that's 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 a situation that needs to be solved but i don't know how to solve it at the moment so i'm gonna leave it like this for now <laughs> but i like the way it's matching with the eyebrows if we can get the eyebrows to like sort of scoop right over the top of it like in the shape and then again i'll have to go in here and really edit the, this uh this curly q part to make it fit correctly um because it's kind of out of character right now. Whoa, arthritic. Hey, man, thanks for dropping in. Yeah, maybe, you know, maybe it does need a stroke. I'm not. Yeah, I, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. But man, I'm, I'm super glad somebody's dropped in. Um, yo. <laughs> nice thanks for dropping by arthritic do you mind if i ask uh a, you know how's the the stream um as i mean are you catching my audio clearly is there a lot of like a room echo this is an untreated concrete room so it's kind of a nightmare to record in here but the space is so nice Ah, it's 6 a.m. there. Dang. Yeah, I mean... Oh, so I'm assuming you're probably in America. Gotcha. It, it's... I mean... I get up pretty early, too. I get up around 5.30 every day in the, in the morning. That's just kind of a habit of mine, but... Um, you must be an early riser too, or, or maybe you're just already, I, I don't know, but, um, is it, can you hear me? Okay. Uh, is there any problem with my audio or any kind of weirdness going on with the stream or anything like that, that you could tell me about? It'd be super, I'm super curious to know, cause this is the first time I've used this setup. So it's, uh. It's much more comfortable than having that the the boom in front of my face and okay nice 
the, the audio doesn't sound too tinny or anything like that. Um, cause there's definitely like a room echo. Like I, I have to get some treatment for the walls, but if I can get away without buying the treatment for the walls, I'll just keep on keeping on. Arthritic. I thought about putting a stroke on that heart too, but I don't know how it'll like, check it out. Like what, watch what happens when I add the stroke. Now I can increase the size of it, but I, I think it detracts from the actual shape of the heart itself. So it, it kind of deshapes it, right? Um, so yeah, I don't know. It's something that's not right with it. I'm going to come back to it. We'll, we'll, we'll be able to sort that out a little bit later. Right now, I think it's, it's a, I think I've got a good sort of assembly line sort of thing going on. Ah, thanks. Thanks, Arthritic. Good to know. I've got some filters on the mic here and I've got, um, I've got, I've got it EQ'd at all the spots where I know from, from, from experience where the, you know, all the different frequencies where the, where the room echo tends to really, really hit hard. I've got those uh, frequencies, uh, sort of dipped. So it's, uh, hopefully, um, there are, or notched rather. So hopefully, um, that'll be, we can, it'll, it'll, it'll work out. Let's see here. What's this one? He looks, uh, he's, he's sad. What we got, bro? Don't be sad. Wait a minute. Let's go. Let's get, get you moving with the move tool. Grab my old stylus again. I'm glad to hear that. I, I, I was worried. Let's see. Okay, so this one is like, I'm trying to get into the sort of the philosophy of like, you know, each expression, like what's really going on here. I want to reset it and then ramp it and then drop this down. I, I, I want them to be unique in character, but also consistent somehow. And then I also want to try to make sure my design decisions sort of reflect like the what's actually happening. I think really what we all we need is just like a small hill. Okay, so how I how do I do this? It's something like this. And then I just drop the weight. So actually it's more like this or actually I think we need a new setting for this. So I'm going to reset, drop this down to here, pull this up just a little bit. Like about like this, we'll just keep it in the middle. And then actually I'll drop the weight down and that should be, that should do it. Maybe the hill is, it's gotta be super subtle, but remember I, I talked about in the last stream, it's like, I'm, I'll, you want to make sure that everything stays readable at a distance. So it's like, if, if you, if you, if I deselect that and you know, you can't really tell if I, if I'm making like a subtle change to it, it's not going to be absolutely, um, readable that, the the, that change you see it's like it's so subtle it's so barely readable that difference but if i exaggerate it just a little bit i think that reads well at a distance so maybe it does need to be exaggerated maybe like when i'm thinking out loud like this maybe it doesn't make any sense uh but yeah so i'm saying i i guess i'm arriving at the conclusion that in order to have the emotions read properly from a distance or at small scale, maybe some exaggeration is required. That's, uh, like that's, that's the, the, the arrival of the idea. Let's see here. Cool. 
All right, those look, he, he looks embarrassed. I like it. All right, this one, we'll go with this. Actually, this is kind of nice. It's like the situation is pretty good here. We're gonna, let's just do some transforming uh, shenanigans on this little group here. We'll see what we can come up with. Mm, or actually, maybe I'll just copy the style, pull in a new circle, paste it. There we go. Um, paste another one. Oh, no, 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 not you. Um, let's get you out of there. Get out, get out. Uh, shrink you down. I'm going to shrink you down to Chinatown. Does that expression come from the Jack Nicholas? Nicholson movie, uh, Chinatown, like when people say I'm going to take you down to Chinatown, does it have something to do with that movie? I don't know. Maybe. Let's see here. There we go. That's cool, but it kind of looks like psychotic in a way but we're gonna keep this because I like it it's a uh, it's cool all right I don't know it feels good all right we're good we're good shocked looks good I'm not sure if I should stroke those eyes or not let's get to this uh mini shocked how are we gonna deal with this? Okay, I think if I go back here, copy this, bring it in, paste it here, straighten these nodes, come in, get a little bit of that action. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. A little bit of this. And then here on these, uh, they need to be a little bit like form fitting, I suppose. So we'll, what we'll want to do is, uh, oops, better turn down the volume on that bad boy right there real quick. And then head over to the old Mr. Node tool. So it's kind of a, it's some, the weight of it is almost like flat. It's almost like, something like that there we go get rid of this cool and then let's see I'm gonna group those together Whoa, am I am I painting in this this layer here? Here's where you want to sort of be working in uh, like on on vector layers when you've got like a complex sort of situation like this. Um, I'll just use an, I'll just use a circle tool real quick. That'll work. Duplicate, bring it over. You digging that? Digging that? Digging that? Oh, and uh, let's um, let's grab all that, and then we'll group all that, and then we'll group all that. Nice A little save action, Command S, good to go. Oh, this will be fun. All right, how are we gonna get with this? Let's um. Let's go with the old handy dandy pen tool, line mode. Good to go there. Black. Ramp it. Now this one's like tricky. 
if you're angry and you're doing like this, everything scrunches down in between your nose. And you often see uh, exaggerations. I kind of want to do something like this. You could just do a line, right? But I kind of want to like get that scrunchy action going. Okay, maybe I'll do that in another way. For now, let's. I guess uh, I'll, I'll I'll do uh, I'll follow the uh, acronym Kiss. Uh, keep it simple, stupid. And then maybe uh, that'll be a good way to sort of make it happen. And then we'll maybe just pull this up a little bit so it's not too sharp. Because our boy, we got to remember, you know, our, our boy Leon is not like, you know, he's not your average bro. He's kind of like, he's a, he's a representative of his, you know, of a company. He's like, he's like, he's got a, a reputation to uphold. He's, um, he's not the type to just uh, willy nilly, you know, go off half cocked and just like start screaming at people, uh, not like your boy Rob here. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, uh, but he's gotta he's gotta keep it together. He's gotta hold it together. He's good. He's uh he's got he's cool under the collar. He's red. He's red Sen Seneca, so he knows what's going on. Oh yeah, we want this to be two points. All right, now this is tricky. I wanted to do it like this. I guess the easiest way to go about doing this would probably have been to draw with the pen tool, but it's okay. We can uh, we can do with we can do this with what we can do what we need to do with this. I'll just command enter, and what you see here is like we've got this node situation. I actually kind of like this shape. It's it, I didn't. It's not what I intended, but it, I can work with it. I kind of like it. I like the way it. Uh, I like the way it sort of sits right under that eyebrow situation and we just dupe it uh, and then shrink it down again and then we'll switch the colors and um, we'll pull that in and man I mean I really like the way the shape had turned out I didn't expect that I would like it so much but I do I still, I kind of want to, I'm going to, I'm going to play with it a little bit. We'll, we'll probably uh, make, do some iterations of it before the end as I've, I've got to tighten this all up before Saturday, Saturday's the deadline. And it's kind of, uh, you've got to do a lot of posting. You got to post it to the Huion community and you've got to post it on Instagram with the hashtag. So to be eligible to win the prizes, the prize is a uh, uh, pretty, pretty sweet. It's like a 16 inch um, screen. Uh, drawing display um which is cool i just like tech so it's like of course uh these days i much prefer drawing tablet style like i don't i can't believe i i don't know it took me a year to sort of get it under my fingers thanks to xp pen i was able to do that but once i got this tablet um it made a world of difference for me personally and um yeah i don't know i just these days i can't see myself like punched over uh, an angled drawing table any longer. It's just not going to work out for me. I kind of want to go comic style on this. Like, um, we want to reset this. Wait, I want to make sure everything's deselected first. And then make sure that that's reset. And then what if I just go like this and uh, hit it with black? I know that looks like really silly, but I kind of like it. Like I want to add some silliness to the situation, and maybe a, a little bit of um, a little bit of a sort of a, a little bit of subtlety might go a long way in this situation. Something like that, maybe drift it over to one side a little bit, just to add to the. Uh, you know, just to keep it askew. And we may even take one of these eyes, pull it over here, and see if we can't make some magic happen with this shape. Because the shape is really nice, actually. It's got, like, this weird, like, uh, bulbous quality that I really like. Um, so 
see here though it's not really keeping in line with my drawing my drawing is like this so what i'm going to do is uh go with the node tool i'll get rid of let's see i'll make these all straight i'll get rid of these i'll come in go here like this and that's a little bit better that's more in line with what i drew here oops it's weird how it works out you know control to before you grab it so it's like if you just grab it you're going to grab one side of it but then if you hit control before you grab it you can get that mirrored action uh if you if you if you've been uh you know nudging some nodes for a while you'll know most of that uh at some point i feel like i definitely want to get down and like just maybe for like for almost like as a martial arts like a discipline practice maybe i should sit down and like just record in a really organized manner like just everything that i know how to do in affinity designer like sort of a course but there's so many other people doing it that it's just that the, the environment is so saturated on youtube i feel like tutorials are just like not the way to go these days it'll get you a lot of views it'll make you a lot of money but at the end of the day it's like uh, every time i make a tutorial i'm spending one more day doing something that i don't want to be doing I, I, it's uh it's weird to realize that but it's <laughs> that's kind of cool all right moving on oh, we're gonna group all that together we're gonna group all these together cool okay for these i think these will actually work really nicely in this situation because basically this is just an offshoot of these let's uh i want to do an experiment i've never tried this before this is kind of like a first so what i want to do is um i want to transform these separately and i'm wondering that if i if i yes that's nice that's nice so i don't think maybe i don't need this maybe i don't need this but i thought maybe it might have some uh, different effect but I will need it in just a minute when I go to when I go to sort of twist these things into different shapes. Just trying to get that first initial shape in the right uh, condition, and then I'll go to the move tool, and then we'll transform. But that doesn't do what I want it to do, so that's okay. That was silly. Oh, ideas. And then for this, what I'll do is I'll dupe, change the origin point to this bottom corner. Let me zoom in on that so you can get a good eyeful of it. You got this little um, sort of target symbol here. You see that right there? And then, you know, you put it to the place where you want. It kind of snaps into place, which is really great. It's a great little uh, touch that they have made. And then when you drag the transformation handle, It'll rotate from there. And then if I do it again, it gives me that. And uh, what I can do, uh, instead of sort of fighting the whole thing, is just uh, Control-G. And uh, what am I trying to do? Um, No, okay, it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, and then what I'll have to do is uh, I'll have to go into the group and um, sort of do a little bit of editing here. Actually, this would be kind of a neat experiment. I'm going to ungroup these. And then I'm actually going to put these inside a warp group. And we'll call this a quad group. And then let's just see what happens when I start to uh, see how easily I can edit this uh, using this technique. This is kind of fun. 
The only problem with this is that I'm working with strokes and I don't know how strokes behave once they're sort of like, uh, if I want to, like if they were, if these were actual curve objects, I could just, um, I could, uh, you know, convert to curves. And then what would happen was, uh, the, 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 the warp group would want run a transformation on them in this state. But let's see if it does the same for, well, let's just see what happens. And then I'll ungroup. Nice. So it does add some nodes and transform them. That's really good to know. That's good stuff. Okay. Cool. So we can group that. Uh, get rid of this guy. Actually, I feel like what I need to do is like kind of shorten these up a little bit. Like that. Bingo. Dupe it. Flip it. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> and these are pretty much the same but it's like they're the order of the of the eyebrow system is different so what i will do is uh i will go in here and uh it's weird because in this situation uh it's like this this longer one it's sort of um it's what it's representing is like the cheek right and then for these these are representing the brows this time. So it's uh it's neat how that works. Like um cartooning is just so much fun. That's a lot better. Okay, cool. And then maybe I'll have to change that somehow to something else later. Maybe angle it some, some other way. That's fine too. No big deal. <laughs> all right. Sunglasses. But we've already got all the elements we need for these glasses. It's just all about how we want to represent them. So I'm going to go and find... Uh, where Where is it? It's probably in here somewhere. Crap. What did I do with it? Is it this one? Yeah. This group, which is a, supposed to be a separate group. Okay, there we go. And then we'll copy those and post them here. And you can see how it's kind of related, right? It's like, it's got a situation going on. So what we want to do is, um, first of all, we'll get rid of the, the black parts. Um, we want to exaggerate these a little bit. Oops. And try to gain some kind of consistency. I'm going for this like sort of aviators look. That looks pretty cool. And then get rid of this. Dupe this. Move it. Flip it. And then for this line, maybe I have to uh, clean this up a little bit because it's kind of, yeah. And maybe break it right in the middle. break it's supposed to split into two that 
that's all right. You know why? Because we don't, we don't, we don't mess around with stuff like this, right? That's weird how that worked out. I guess it's because I drew it in a weird way. I'm going to have to go back and fix that. But let's just get some lines in here. Nope. Sometimes uh, you got to turn stuff off because it gets in the way. And then these can be four. Because they're part of a of a thing you know and let's see i need to just take a closer look at sunglasses it's, it's weird it's not coming to me um what do i need i need my stock studio let's uh pull that over here uh, Yeah, okay, so there's like a bridge. Let's see if there's some more. These are, this is kind of what I'm after. Oh, that's, a, that's fine. All right, so I'll zoom in here and get to work on that. What we, what we need is, uh, I guess we can, we can keep pretty thin. As long as we get like the main details in there and then for these two I want to reset the strokes and maybe uh, make sure that I <laughs> oh, man that's fun stuff okay duplicate it bring it down uh, yeah. Uh, drop this down to like two. Maybe drop this down to, maybe what I need to do to this is give it a little life by pulling in, the, pulling this down a little bit and then actually coming in here and um, editing with the node tool like this. That's kind of neat. It gives them a little bit of life. But we'll put buff caps on this so that we can really control or that, how that stroke adds up with the other strokes a little bit later on. But then the question becomes, like, are his shades like you know, are they blue or like has his, have his eyes become the shades or, or does he have shades like does he have to wear shades? You know, he's a pretty amazing creature, but does he have like transformation capabilities? I mean, he has a drawing style that's for a tail. It's kind of it's kind of out in the open. I mean, it's kind of uh, I mean, it's kind of uh, uh, up in the air right but I think um, to be cool with sunglasses you actually have to like wear them so we're gonna we're gonna say that he has to wear these glasses I'm gonna make them black with rims like this maybe that's it's actually really cool but yeah Maybe that's better. And then we can get in with a little bit of uh, parallelogram action. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. Oh, we will shear it. Oh, I'm not 40. So let's do uh, 30 degrees. Uh, and then we'll flip it. Turn it white. Get those down inside there. And 
and whoa, I think that's where we gotta go. Sometimes um, when I get into a hurry, um, I start <laughs> losing myself when I'm trying to get things done like that. There we go. Cool. <laughs> All right. I can, I can, I like this. All right. And then for those um, shocked eyes, the surprised eyes, once again, I think we can use these. Turn those on, just blow them up a little bit, maybe. Nah, let's. Uh, I like I like uh, the setup that I have going with these. It's much better. Yeah, and then we can just uh, we can sort of sort that out. That looks that looks much better. Okay, so we'll get rid of that. And then um, we'll do this. Cool. Okay. And then maybe drill in here and sort of this this expression needs to look like a little bit like disjunct. Yeah, like. Like not remember, I'm going for the the natural sort of situation, and I and I actually could probably stand like just re getting rid of this one and sort of redoing it, um, or just just getting it off the board entirely for now. It's kind of what I don't need. Let's let's take a step back. I'm gonna save the project, and then I'm gonna scoop up all these different eyes that I created, and uh, we'll. We'll uh, load those up into the old. Um, forgot to finish this one. We'll load all these up into the uh, assets categories, into their respective assets categories, and then we'll have that set up. Group those together, get rid of this bad boy. And that should be all of them from here <laughs> nice all right cool um i'm not even going to bother naming them you know um in this sort of a project i feel like um all of the you know because they are emotions um and because they're all sort of pinned to a board here like we already know what they are i don't really need to start getting too micro with the, the organization of the project at this point. Um, yeah, it should be okay to let it get a little bit messy, but yeah. Arthritic, are you, are you, uh, man, I can't imagine waking up at 6am. Um, I can't even function until about seven, even though I get up at like five, I'm real slow in the mornings. So I was going to ask you if you were with me, but maybe you're not. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> okay. The next thing I want to do, I want to get in here and, and take, you know, pick off the low hanging fruit. Um, get a little bit of that, a little bit of nose action going. Once I reach this stage, what I'll probably do is I'll start sequestering things off onto their own layers but i'll get all the noses in place before i do that this one is a little bit like it's almost like um here's a little bit of that Actually, we, this one's a little bit better for that situation. And this one, yeah, yeah. So we just re-straighten it. Yeah. Oh, Leon, 
Don't cry, bro. It's all good. It's all good. Let's see. And this one, we'll try to keep them sort of performing uh, in their own way. Nice. And then now we can go back to having that having a little bit more of a shape. Actually, there we go. Actually, it's, this one's real similar to the last one that I just did, but it's got like a little situation going on where um, you can stretch it a little bit so it gets all wacky. Um, this is where you could definitely pull in your um, transformation uh, helper in the node tool. Something like this. Yeah, it needs to look silly. I don't want to make it into a heart. But, and then, but I definitely, what I want to do is, uh, my thinking is like, I want to get this one, uh, maybe angled as though it's he, he, the, the shape of his, it's like the power, the force that his eyes are sort of bouncing off his head is, is kind of like, um, it's causing the rest of his facial features to contort in a sharp manner. Something like that. It's kind of nice. Again, we come down here with this guy, the triangular look. Except for this one, this time we need to go like this and like this. Yeah. There needs to be, it's weird. It's like, um, there's a shot. It's almost like um, the straightness uh, is implied. Like uh, the thing that you're shocked at is like, you know, some kind of incredulity or something like that, like, um, or some kind of, you know, taboo that you're looking at. You're like, what, what are you doing? What is this? And then this is really similar. It's gone beyond some kind of a weird taboo or, uh, you know, uh, you know, it's, it's, you're dealing with some Cretan now who has said something injurious to you. So, now you're <laughs> you're angry. One more time. Here, um, he doesn't want to hurt their feelings, um, but it's like you know. Sometimes biting the lip is like what you gotta do. It's like you know. Um. You know. He who has not, uh, you know, sinned, cast the first stone kind of situation. It's like, hey, I've been there. I'm just going to shut up. Sort of let this happen. Person, The person who's suffering is already suffering. I don't need to add to it with my commentary. Okay. This one is like, let the good times roll. Good times. weird man uh, i don't like using my mouse and it's not that it's noisy or anything weird like that it's just that um it's like this weird power you know like the first computer i mean i was it's like 
if you're not careful, it just takes over. Like you just, you pick it up to do one thing because it's easier to do that one thing with the mouse. And then all of a sudden it's like click, 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 click for 30 minutes. And you realize like, this is awful. Like, why am I doing it this way? Cool. And then once again, Guys, I might kick that aircon on just a minute. I don't think there are any, there, there are nobody. Okay, nobody's here. So look, if you catch this stream later, the aircon's on. Sorry, guys. I'm calling it an aircon like Koreans do. The air conditioner will be functioning when you show up and watch this stream. I kind of like using the term aircon though. It's kind of like, I like, I like the, I like to think of the idea that when Koreans were deciding on how to say this word, they were like, we don't need, we don't need the rest of it. You can keep the rest of it. We just, we know what it does by the first two syllables. So let's just leave it at that. And, and so the word aircon was born. Oh, that's nice. Oh, we want to go with a we, we want to go with a straight triangle on this one. This guy right here. It's, it adds a little bit of a Tom Cruise ness to it, and then we'll just yeah, a little bit of this. This one has got a snoot all squeezed up. All right, cool. Oh, I forgot about good job. What happens with good job? Maybe this? Now, here's the question. Should I or should I not? Um, you know, should I or should I not? Uh, you know, acetize all of these um, snoots, these noses. Yes or no? Actually, I don't like this one. I want to do a different one. I'm gonna do this one. I want. I want to make sure the happy ones have a consistency to them. Nice. I feel like these could be bigger. Yes. 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 That's it. Beautiful. Okay. Cool. Save the project. Um, let's see. Oh man, I forgot the embarrassed eyes. Uh, got to deal with that. All right, nearest neighbor. Get it in there. Oops. Shrink this down. Shrink this down and uh, shrink this down. And then what I'm thinking for this one is like, we'll, we'll get busy with the knife tool. How about that? Oh, there I go again with the mouse. Yeah. I want to make sure this doesn't get cut, so I'm going to bring it down. Actually, I want to. I want it to kind of live inside the, inside this ellipse, so I can sort of hide it if I need to. And then what I can do is go in here, and let's go. Um, yeah, this will work. Let's put. Let's stabilize it. Actually, I don't want to use the stabilizer. I want to use my. Um, 
let's use precision mode for my tablet. Precision mode, in my opinion, on my tablet is to me much preferable to the stabilizer that's, uh, you know, the, the Affinity Stabilizer. Um, I like Affinity Stabilizer. I like the way it functions, but um, having to pull that rope is just weird to me. I, wa I don't want to see the rope. I want to see where my cursor is, and I want to see how the line behaves behind my cursor without that rope. I feel like it's kind of like playing like a video game. I've, I've, I've said this to the developers, but uh, nobody seems to agree with me. Um, oops, hold on. I, I just, um, something just, it, it never has jived with me that, that function in Affinity, but something like that. Nice, but I, I, when I started using this tablet, um, I was, I really was like, wow, you know, uh, the, um, that function on this tablet is really good. Let's see here. But do I, where's my, um, I, oh, heck, just get in there and draw it again. No big deal. There we go. For this, we'll just uh, flip it, dip it, and then move this over a little bit. Not sure where he should be looking. Should, we, should, should he be looking straight ahead? Maybe. Or no, he, maybe he's looking off to the side, like, you know, kind of trying to avert his eyes, like from looking at the, whoever he thinks is looking at him while he's so embarrassed. Okay, cool. Those are good. We're good. And then we want to bring these down here. And pair them with these. Nice. All right. And actually I wanna I wanna delete the other assets. This one. Delete that asset and add this asset. Nice. Okay, cool. All right. see I'm, i've been at this for an hour and 13 minutes okay i'll go for another 45 um we'll make it two hours and then tomorrow morning i'll get up do another two hours and maybe even in the evening do another two hours but i gotta finish this tomorrow i think because i won't have a lot of time coming up in the next uh, couple of days we got so much going on this is it's crazy stuff um, i'm gonna do some posts about it but there's just so much going on i don't have a lot of free time lately it's really killing my my youtube by but it's um how do the koreans say it it's uh no dop just gotta go i'm not trying to mess around but there's no answer nothing to it but to do it all right we're gonna start creating groups of these little guys they're very important to the to the vibe Okay, I'm going to say some stuff that's controversial right now, but seeing as how almost no one's watching, perhaps probably no one, I can't see it clearly, but <sighs> Sanrio, man. Okay, the, the their characters are super popular, but there's just something about, and I don't know, I don't want to be a, I'm not, I'm not a hater or anything, but um, there's something about them that I can't, I can't uh, condone. There's a, there's a, there's a weird, 
like blankness to some of them that um, it really bothers me. Um, like with their like beady, perfect circle eyes and like, uh, yeah, I don't know, There's something. Can't we can't do it, San Rio? I can't do it. That. How should I handle these? I feel like they're they will be like pointed down. Maybe. Or maybe even just covered up by the tears altogether. Maybe they won't be there because of the tears. I feel like that's a detail to pay attention to, but I'm not sure if I want to execute on it. On the idea yeah it seems that it seems as though it seems as though they may be or, or how about this they transform somehow um, whenever the expression is revealed so it's um, they get a little shorter and fatter something like this yeah. Okay, cool. This one, it seems this one is like sort of cut and dry. What what needs to actually happen is it needs to appear to be like, you know, coming out at the same directions that the star points are, are exiting the, the, the you know, the, the, the radius or the, the or, or how do I say that? that are not, they're not exiting, they are being emitted or the, I don't know. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. And then this one. Yeah, maybe they're up real high up as everything has been sort of pushed up for this expression. Cool. I don't know. I feel I feel something needs to happen special here, but I'm not sure what that thing is. I feel like um they need to look like quotation marks here. Like they need to be sort of scrunched in. Like uh, let's go like this, and then like this. Yeah. There we go. Whoa. Sorry, bud. There we go. Oh no. I don't know why, but that just works for me. I'm going to leave it right just like that. Okay, so so like this is like sort of a, a sort of a variation, right? Like this one here, it's like um, it's the same except there's just a little bit of this action because you're not embarrassed for yourself. You're confused by someone else's embarrassing or strange statement. So there's that, and then here. You're angry, so they're like daggers.
Yeah, and they're flipped. So they're sort of pointing downwards. Here, how do I deal with that? These are kind of, uh, all right. Something like this. Yeah. Even, it's like even, even um, his uh, eyebrows are sort of blushing or they're, f they're, they're filling up with whatever the expression is. We'll save the work. Almost there. Let's um, I can use these. Uh, I kind of want these to sort of like they're they're coming across this curve like this, like same over here. Something like that. And here, perhaps. Okay, here we need to go back to uh, the happy ones up here. Yeah. Bring those in. Perfect. Then we just move these a little bit. They need to be up though, because it's like, yeah. Cool. Uh, these, we can get away with something like this. Dude's Top Gun for real. All right, cool. And this one, maybe, uh, maybe a little bit of this. I don't know. This that's kind of happiness. Let's try these again. Let's uh, let's let's uh, sort of expand on the surprising stuff. That's kind of neat. And then, what if I uh, like create some? shape like this yeah because I actually forgot to draw them them I forgot to draw them here so and they're still in their respective groups so Something like that. Cool. Okay. Great. Now, at this phase of the work, I think what I should probably do is uh, start organizing everything into into layers. So uh, the way that I'm going to do that is uh, I'm going to go through and just select everything and group them together at first. Right? Like this. Uh, 
Yeah. And then we'll worry about putting everything on layers in a minute. Once everything, once they all get onto their own layers, their own vector layers, you can ungroup things for greater control and 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 and, and decreased aggravation from having to drill into different groups. Because I know that does get really aggravating. Oh, and this guy doesn't even have any eyebrows. I, I think I accidentally deleted his eyebrows. Something like this, right? Yeah. Sorry, buddy. So let's get you in your proper place. There you go. Sorry, pal. Good. Yeah, like dealing with the groups is not always fun. It's uh, sometimes it's really annoying. There we go. Somehow that ended up in another group. There we go. Okay, so I think it looks like I've got all these expressions sort of nailed down. What's this? It's an empty group. Or an empty layer. All right, cool. Get rid of that. Oh, that's those are my noses. Okay, crap. How are they? Why why did they not get selected? That's so weird. All right, that's okay. What we'll do is we'll go in. Stuff happens, you know. X. Find the emotion. Paste it. All right, there we go. Cut it. Find the emotion. Paste it. Do it like that. All right, we got a method. Oops. Just keep going like this. So that's kind of a good thing to remember, right? It seems like it's nothing. It seems so so small a thing, but essentially, by selecting something, you're actually choosing the entry point for the next produced object, right? Or 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 or, or pasted object. So when I paste this object, it pastes it just above the la the previously selected object. So um. I would say if you're new to Affinity and you don't know these kinds of things, um, it's little stuff like that that really, really helps uh, send you forward, I think, while you're working on projects. Um, so just keep little, try to notice little stuff like that when you move, when you're moving forward, it really helps. Oops. Cool. And you can see as I'm getting further and further along, it's getting easier and easier to uh, manage it because it's it's all the, the layer stack's getting shorter now. To drill into a group, just double tap the object, right? Call it drilling in because I heard some of the guys at Affinity using that term. It's really cool. It feels it feels masculine. I'm just drilling into this thing. Just stand back. Got to drill into this vector layer and find this thing. It's going to be fine. It's going to be all right. I kind of like I like using it. There you go, and then we've got this, 
Where are you? What what are you? Oh, all right. Well, hi. Oh, hello. Bingo. Okay, cool. And so what I think I'm going to do is rather than yeah, what 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 we'll do is uh, we'll create another subcategory. I'll call this um we'll call these uh expression phase 1. And then I'll take all these groups that we've created and we'll add from selection. And there we go. And this way, like if it comes down to the nitty gritty and I have to like sort of start over or if I have to figure out where I'm at at a certain point, then um, I can come back to my asset library over here and um, and deal with it that way. It'll be fine. Okay. Let's see. I'm at 1.30. So I got about 30 minutes left before I'm going to call it a night. Let me uh, stretch the old fingertips here. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to go put some more hot water in my teacup, stretch my legs a little bit. Um, and I'll be back in three minutes. All right, guys. So I'll, um, uh, I'll see you guys in just a minute. Okay. Okay. All right. For the last 30, now that I've got these uh these groups uh sort of in place, I'm actually going to lock them up, save the project. Let's see, command L. Command 
S and we can start working on the mouths and all the, 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 the little, the tiny details for each expression. Actually, I think I'll leave the, t the detail stuff. We, we, I've still got to hit the ears and stuff like that tomorrow. So what I'll probably do tonight is uh, I'll get the mouths sort of where they need to be and then we'll call it a night. And then tomorrow, um, we'll do the ears, the hair, and we'll, we'll I'll try to, I'll try to, I'm got, I've got to have it finished by the 5th so that I can submit it. Um, but then after that, maybe, I don't know if I can finish it all on stream. I may have to work on it in like little chunks here and there because I don't have that much time coming up this weekend. We'll figure it out. So for now, we'll, we'll just continue. Um, I, I'm trying to sort of schedule but i will i will i will stream again tomorrow for another hour or two and uh I'll come at it with a fresh head fresh uh consciousness and then maybe maybe we can get it to work out let's uh let's get into it with the pen tool here uh we'll go with a stroke like this line mode okay so Something like this. I need to save a, a version of this that's more like this. And then, actually this one needs a, kind of a W. Doesn't it? Let's see. At any rate, I need to save this, um, I need to save this profile so that I can manipulate it later. So what I'll do is I'll just put this down here and then I'll save the profile. And that way I can use this later because it's really useful to have that like, uh, it's really useful to have those um, those secondary markers in there. That way the, the, the whole thing can be sort of adjusted. Actually. We want to bring this down like this, and then if I put, oops, I'll put a note here, and then I, uh, with all my modifiers come up like this, but then what I want to do is I want to select this one and then round it out, and it gives me this really great, like, sort of shape that I can use to sort of play with. If I exaggerate this, and I can even uh, sort of transform the this action here, and it looks really nice. It's really it's really pleasant to look at. And then if I adjust one side of the, oops. so here's a little tip: um, if you want to adjust like one side of this thing without it mirroring like this, so what you can do is just hold Alt, then tap it, and then it breaks that connection. You can do it like that, but maybe we need it. We need them to be connected. Maybe the the this needs to be go up a little bit in size. And then what I think I want to do is uh, I'm going to put this inside of a work group. Uh, I'll put it into a quad work group because I kind of want to use that to get a little bit more emotion out of it. And then I'll convert to curves, uh, ungroup. Yeah, that's so weird. Okay, that's all right. We'll just get rid of these and uh, sort of re-edit it from there. It's so weird how that worked out, but. I want these uh, facial expressions to be so unique, you know, not, um, I don't, I don't, I don't want the San Rio action is what I'm saying. There we 
There we go. Something along those lines. Maybe I need to uh, fatten it up because I have adjusted the depth a little bit. Remember, um, what I'm thinking of, the reason why I'm, th I'm saying that is because I think that uh, what happens is it's got to be readable, right? Um, if it reads, we, got, we at the end, I'll, I'll have to go back through each expression and each facial expression and see how it reads. But um, yeah, that's the main reason I'm sort of uh, struggling to arrive at the, um, the proper stroke width this one is uh where what we what needs to happen is i wish you could like bulk select nodes that's another oh man Finity, could you let me could you let us bulk select nodes inside the stroke studio that'd be awesome i mean i hope to see lots of changes to the the stroke studio and the drawing you you know the drawing tools and, and utilities like i really want like i don't even know if i know what i want but i know that i know that here's the thing while i'm talking into the void it's like um how can i say this like The thing that Affinity it has going for it, well, okay, that's not a good way to start because Affinity has a lot of things going for it. Um, okay, how do I say this? It's like, okay, it's vector, it's vector, it's a vector drawing, Affinity Designer specifically. It's a it's vector drawing tool, right? Um, it's a vector drawing tool that has a lot of vector drawing tools. It's a design, it's a design suite, or a design application, but. What makes it different is that you can, you know, it's got everything, you know, like pixel persona, I can draw, I can paint, you know, you can do so many things yeah, within this app. And, um, and that makes it just so prime for like, I don't know, I feel like it could just take over, you know, like I, I, uh, Nobody else is doing this. So there's a, for me, I feel like what I really want to see is I really want to see the, the drawing tools like reach a point where it, they're just so, it's like, it's like, uh, I guess what I'm looking for is something, I don't want to say closer to, I don't want to say closer to concepts. But it's like, there's this idea that, you know, in concepts, like everything that you draw is vector. Uh, but but it, in a way, it looks organic. But the thing is, is that I got it. I don't, I don't, concepts has a, has a, the, it, the weakness of it is, is that you can't, it, you don't get in with all this technical stuff that you can with Affinity Designer. So it's kind of like, it's a trade, you know, I mean, you, you can, but I mean, I guess you could, if you wanted to, I mean, I'm sure people do super technical things and concepts. I've seen a lot of like the sample artworks and, and, and I've seen videos of people using it on YouTube and stuff like that, but it just looks like it's not as fun. You know what I mean? It's not as fun to use. I feel like affinity is so fun to use. Um, like with all the different tools you can use while you're drawing with vector and, uh, things like that. So it's, By the way, 2.2 beta, I'm in 2.2 beta, caps lock. You can get the crosshairs, which I love. I don't know why, but something about that pencil just drives me insane while I'm trying to draw. Oh, auto close. Sorry guys, and no fill. Uh -uh. That's really sad. Okay, well, I'm just keep going. Okay, I just want to 
show you guys something um, just so you can you, you know what's going on. Um, I'm using the pencil tool to draw these lines. I've I've got my controller set to none. So what it's doing is it's imposing this pressure curve on the lines. So there's that. Just in case you, you tuned in, you got annoyed with me talking, you skipped ahead and you landed there. And then you were like, what's he doing? Um, but I like the node tool cursor. Okay, this is a situation where I definitely want to uh, bring this down a little bit. There we go. Same here. Perfect. <laughs> All right. And then we'll get that mouth. It's something like this. Um, something like this. And then we add a node. Four finger modifier. Something like that. Move this over here. Nope. That didn't work out the way I wanted it to. That's all right. Oh, um, I need to. How do I deal with that? I want it. I like this shape. I don't want it. Maybe that's what I need. It's got to read. It still has to read. I'm going to increase this, the, the width of the stroke. Let's go to nine. And then we'll just move it a little bit. I think um, what, what's, what, what it needs is a, it needs a little bit more of a dip here maybe this is too much maybe we go with a curved thing yeah no he's starting to smile that's not good it needs to be it needs to have some patheticness to it there we go all right and what i want to do is i go back to this one and sort of um, get that grouped up, get get all that grouped up. That has a lot of moving parts. Yeah, we'll just do this like this. There we go. Don't want to um, don't want to do that. And then we'll this this one has a lot of moving parts, and then that's its own kind of singular thing. And I'm actually not crazy about this. I feel like I went too far. That's a little bit better. It's a little more cozy. All right. And then with this one, what needs to happen here? Let's see. I have a. I have. I have a plan. Or well, maybe if I. Maybe if I um. Maybe let's see. Do all the strokes intersect? Can I use the vector flood fill on this bad boy? I'm going to attempt it. Here we go. <laughs> didn't happen that's all good that's all good i wish it did but it didn't um so now what let me see if i can hit it on the group maybe if i do the group it'll work will it work oh man affinity i love you guys i know that you're gonna get that tool working well soon um, so that we don't have to deal with this but Okay, so there it is. There's my culprit right there. So when you're working with the vector flood fill, you want the lines to uh, to have, you know, visible tangents or intersections. And that way, the vector flood fill will actually work. 
if it if you don't have all your lines connected like this in some way like or or overlapping it's not gonna it's not gonna work but now when i go back to the vector flood fill tool it works and it works beautifully it's just that's the stipulation that's the limit right now um which is it, it could be man it could be much worse don't get me wrong i'm not like complaining um it's just one of those it's one of those little things you know it's like um It's like a brand new shirt with a thread hanging off the cuff. You know what I mean? It's like, oh. Oh. Hey, good morning, Johnny Omaha. Hey, thanks a lot, man. Uh, thanks for dropping in. You're uh, my, my second guest today for the second hour. So, uh, yeah. Bam. Good morning, man. Good morning. <laughs> Nice, man. Yeah, I'm I'm finishing these up. Um, I, I gotta get them in by Friday. Uh, so, uh, well, actually, is it Friday? Um, let's see. Second, third, fourth, fifth. Saturday. Saturday's the last day for it. So I'm gonna try to. I'm trying to get them done before Saturday. Um, we'll see how it works out. But I'm having fun. That's the biggest thing. That's the most important thing. Let's see, we'll get this going on with a little bit of that. A little bit of that. Switch it. Uh, convert it to curves. Go in here um, with my node tool, four finger modifier on this guy. There we go. Yeah, man, I thanks a lot for saying that. Um, the thing is, it's tough. I, I mean, the the only free time that I have these days is at night, my time out here, and it's like um, it's like six in the morning in America when I start. It's like nine in the morning in Europe when I start. So the people that do catch it are like sitting around having coffee. They're like waking up for breakfast, and um, you know, uh, but it's the only time that I have right now to to, to do it. So that's why I'm just doing it at this time and um yeah i wish i could stream just like all day every day as a job i would totally do it i would if someone said to me hey do you want to stream and do this just every day and i would just i would just say yes automatically it wouldn't even take a second uh but yeah this is the time that i'm stuck with for right now until I make it big as a big time YouTuber. <laughs> I feel like, oh man, I don't even want to get into it. That'd be the makings of a really great comedy skit. Like, um, some kind of a, you know, uh, like a big shot, like, Maserati driving like Andrew Tate kind of like a hard like nailed kind of guy but he does like you know how it's like how did you make your fortune he's like I just live stream drawing unicorns you know it's like what and then he has like special guests on a show like cheering him on while he's drawing unicorns like a uh, Henry Goggins like yelling at him that he's like worthless and he I don't, know. I don't know where my mind's going. I'm really tired, actually. You think you you think you know how to draw unicorns in a vector, but you have no idea. Hmm. I'm trying to stay true to the sketches. <laughs> oh man thanks man oh. I, I i really am glad uh you dropped by i was like it gets sad sometimes when i look over and it's like there's zero people oh man i really appreciate it thanks for thanks for tuning in man i'm true i 
I want to say you, you mentioned about the variable width and stuff lately. Uh, I, I'm really trying to stay true to the sketch that I did so that it retains like some, at least some sort of organic quality, but um, yeah. I, I, I'm using, I, I, I have said it in other streams before, I wish this was like an application-based set of presets that you don't have to keep resetting. Um, oh, well, I hope so, man. I mean, I'm just trying to have a good time and like, you know, also show, you know, I don't know. I, I just, um, man, I love this stuff. You know, it's so great. I may not be like the best at it or the best at making the tutorial videos or whatever, but this is so awesome. I really wish I could just do this every day, you know? All right. Okay. So uh, let's see. Let's see if I can get the other. So earlier we did a little bit of a will. Can we, can we vector flood fill it? This is a no. They've got to be touching. We, 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 a lot of us took to the forums uh, in the feedback and we were saying, Hey, why don't you have like a proximity on this sort of like how, um, or a tolerance sort of like how the regular flood fill has a tolerance. I would love it if they would put a tolerance on the vector flood fill so that you didn't have to intersect the nodes, but hey, you know, I can do this now, so it's it's actually really great. So I'm not I'm not complaining too much. Just trying to create a little bit of variety here. Something doesn't read. Maybe um, with the with this, we just come in a little bit. There we go. Let's see here. So we got that. Wait a minute. What are you doing in there? Get out of here. Get out of here. Let's go Leon's line styles. Let's go back to that. Uh, let's get uh, a little preset action. About like that, get rid of that node, get rid of this one. And then maybe, actually it just needs to be a lot thicker than that. And then maybe pull this down a little bit. Maybe get a little W action in there like this. I don't know why I keep trying to do that. I keep trying to make that work and it doesn't work. Let's see. That's all right. Uh, get to the node tool. Works. That'll be okay. Then we just dip this down a little more. We're good. Hey, thanks. Yeah, you know, like, um, um, I don't know what, with, with, yeah, this project, I didn't take it seriously at first, you know, it's just kind of like, but it, it seemed simple enough, but then you start getting into the emotion stuff and then you start having to think about what's happening and, and, uh, I don't know, it's, it's, it, it has taken on like a very sort of like, bob rossi kind of just like self-reflection kind of kind of vibe for me like i don't know i'm really into it but um 
it seems uh, sort of silly to, to you know, but I, I'm enjoying myself immensely. That works out. So I got okay. So I wanna. So I, I've saw, I've talked about it several times, but um, you know, uh, uh, zoom in. Um, things get a little bit complicated. But if I were to try to do that again, zoomed out. Um, by the way, uh, I'm gonna switch over to my caps lock. Caps lock to switch to the crosshair in beta. Hopefully that'll make it to the real version soon so i'm zoomed out a little too far there because what happens is so what i so if i zoom in really close right the drawback is that i get all these nodes right but if i zoom out a little bit if i zoom out too far i get fewer nodes and less expression right it, it sort of tries to simplify the line but there's like a happy medium. You can find it. You just got to play around a little bit. Maybe this is the nice, the sweet spot. That's the sweet spot. So now I can go in with my node tool and um, clean this up a little bit without such a headache. Cleaning up, cleaning up some nodes can turn into a real hassle sometimes. I think this just needs to be simpler like that. Okay, wait a minute. I need to make sure that uh, these are need to come. Let's see that, this, that, and this. That's a group that needs to come out, and then this is a group. That needs to stay over there as well. And then we're, we're good here. Okay, cool. I think I can flood fill this. Nice. And then we'll just borrow the tongue from this one. Get it in here. Where are you? And then just shrink it down a little bit. Uh, and I kind of like how this is mirroring the, the, the shape of the hearts. It's almost like it's a heart itself. It's that's kind of nice. It, it it adds a nice touch. I kind of want everything to be sort of heart shaped in that situation. Which is nice. And should it I don't know. I feel like I like I like having it sort of rocking the other direction against the two eyes. The way the eyes are leaning this way, but if it leans this way, it kind of looks like it it sort of it's been flung it's been flung over um, in the excitement. It's cool. I'm gonna leave it like that. We'll see how it goes. Hey, Johnny Omaha, can I ask you a question? Um, I've got my air conditioner running. Can you hear it? And can you hear any digital artifacts on the sound? I'm really curious about that. I was talking earlier with um, um, Arthritic in the chat, and he said uh, didn't have any problems. But uh, I'm just trying to check with everybody since very so few have stopped by the stream. It's my chance to get some feedback, you know, like um, how you know, how it sounds or if I need to do anything differently. Maybe uh, I thought about throwing the dead cat on this, uh, this, this, this little mini shotgun that I have, but it's, uh, it's so distracting, you know, and the whole idea with the boom is to have it be less distracting, which it is. So I don't have to wear the headphones and have the gear in my face while I'm, while I'm working. Better save. It's been a little while since I saved. Sad. Sad. How do we do sad? I know. Pencil tool. Well, let's zoom out a little bit. Right, right. It's not quite there. Maybe um eight point. There it 
there it is. And then for this one, oh, he's not sad. He's embarrassed. That's what it was. He's biting his, uh, he's biting his, uh, sound is good. Every once in a while I hear a very faint hard drive noise. Sounds like you might need a ground loop noise isolator. Okay. Let me, what it is, I'm going to turn off the air conditioner now just so we can test it. If you'll, if you'll help me. Um, I'm using a Rode Video Micro connected. I, 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 I bought this cable. Um, it, it was, it's a mic cable. I'm not so sure it's shielded though, but the thing that I think is creating that digital noise is probably what I thought it was when I did test recordings at my, um, earlier is, um, I thought that, um, the air conditioner was causing it because I have a noise reduction filter on the output of the stream. Ah, uh, I see. That's all right, arthritic man. They, I, I, I thought, oh man, thanks a lot for both of you guys. I really appreciate your help. Yeah, it's a 3.5 millimeter TRS jack. The situ the situation with the Rode Video Micros is really interesting. Um, it's weird. It comes with a TRS jack and then a TRRS adapter because I guess getting it into the computer or other devices requires a TRRS, but then some devices don't recognize the TRRS, so you got to go back to the TRS and it's like it took me forever to find the perfect setup to get this to work with my Mac, but I bought this little sound card that's usually supposed to be used for tablets. It's called a cable creation sound card. It's got a USB-C input and a, a TRS mic input and a TRS headphones, 3.5 millimeter. And uh, it, it, it connects and it sounds really clean. And I've got it running through a powered hub. So it's actually got a little bit of power uh, to the signal. I su I mean, I'm assuming it does since it's not a powered mic and, uh, yeah, I've had this thing forever. Oh man. I wonder if I can turn that off in the middle of the stream. Sorry. Let's see. Stream settings. Wait a minute here. Oh man, let me see if I can. I don't think I can. And I don't think I can, um, I don't know how to, I don't know how to, sorry about that, Johnny Oma. I don't know how to change the 30 seconds. I, I forgot to switch that setting and I'm afraid if I try to edit it during the middle of the, no, no, the air, the air conditioner is not running this second. I'm afraid I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to try to edit. Okay. Nice. Nice. Slow mode off. Got it. Yeah. Another one bites the dust. We can do this with a pen tool. Pen tool does better. Yeah, but right now, uh, the the aircon's off or the air conditioner is off. It's not uh, it's not running. So you still hearing that di those digital artifacts? I, I I'm pretty sure that's what what was causing it.
Okay, cool. All right. Man, thanks a lot. I really appreciate the assistance. It's uh, it's it's cool. I know. I I I I feel uh, that's not what you know. Yeah. Thank you so much, both of you guys. All right. So, oh, wait a minute. For some reason, it didn't kick back on. There it is. It takes a minute for it to get noisy. It's a brand new unit, but it's uh, it's kind of noisy. All right. Well, embarrassed. Done. Done and dusted. All right. Let's get this guy in. How do we deal with this one? We're going to go with the pen. The pen tool seems to be really up for the task for the mouths tonight because it's just uh, sort of well positioned. It's got just because I can get that line in so quickly and easily and then adjust everything from the Stroke Studio. Okay, cool, those are all good. I wanted to, let's see, maybe, um, Yeah. And then we'll add a little bit of this. Yeah, man, isn't he a fun character? Gosh, and arthritic. I mean, do you think uh, t Twitch is, I, I don't know, uh, man. I, I've never used Twitch before. I'm wondering if people even give a crap <laughs> like what, I, what I'm doing, you know? But I mean, I, I don't, I'm not against it or anything. I just never used Twitch. I'm not, I don't, I, man, I'm, you know, I'm in my, I just, you know, I'm 41, you know, so it's like, uh, I'm, I'm kind of a, I'm a hobbyist by most people's standards. And, uh, you know, I, the last, you know, I, I haven't played video games for like a decade. Um, and I thought that I, I was always under the impression that that's what Twitch was all about. I didn't know that. That's interesting. Maybe that's right. Yeah. I heard um there was some stunt the other day and there you know a lot of people like talked about their payments or something like that on 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 Twitter like Twitter's paying people now which is crazy to me. I don't know. I thought about that and I was like it's like so I, I can get paid to have opinions. Like, I don't know, man. It's, like, it's pretty wild. Is, is it the reduction filter? You can hear it again. That was my suspicion. I did a few tests, but I couldn't be sure because I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Well, I mean, luckily the room is nice and cool now and it's nighttime, so I can just cut the air con off. And it's no problem. <laughs> oh man, look! I, if I had time, like arthritic, I would still be playing video games as well. I mean, I love video games. I just don't have much time lately. You know what I mean? And and if and if and if I have time to play video games rationally, I have time to be doing art. So I feel like that's for me the thing that's, um, I, I, you know. It, I'm in this mo I'm in this zone where I feel like every moment that I got have free I need to do this because uh, I mean you know you never know I don't I don't know what's going to come at me next 
taking up my time, you know. There we go. Dang, Vector Flood Fill is pretty awesome. I I I I I'm starting to feel bad that I complained at all about the 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 the, the requirements for it. But um Yeah. There we go. I like that little heart motif. It makes this this shape. I think the reason this shape works is because it actually it sort of indicates to the viewer or the reader of the image like it has a heart shape and it just feels like kind of welcoming and, and plump. And it's uh, that's what that's all about. It's not actually that it looks like a tongue. It's more like inviting, you know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, I have one video game that is a guilty pleasure. I play it at lunch occasionally on my iPad. It's called um, Dead Ahead uh, War uh, Warfare, Zombie Warfare. It's like it's a it's an it's like a it's, it's a it's this game with these amazing little sprites that I just like the art in the game. It's the only reason I even look at it. It's it's kind of like one of those games. It's designed to like get you so hooked into the system that you pump money into it to buy like you know power ups and things like that but um you can actually get really far not doing that and um i say that as a person who has i got i'm i have i'm like on level 13 and i've got like all this really amazing gear but i've been i i've been doing it like 10 minutes you know here and there for like 8 years now maybe eight years maybe less i don't know it's been a long time since i picked that game up but um I, I, the developers did a really good job on it you should check it out it's really it's really cool artwork that's the reason i really like it and every once in a while uh while i'm eating uh you know uh my lunch at work i'll uh th turn the ipad on and uh and uh you know level up my little characters or whatever it's cool man i'm Sometimes I I don't have anything against video games. I just uh for me personally these days it's just time is of the essence. I feel like while I'm eating it's okay. <laughs> it's your boy Raid Shadow Legends. Oh man, yeah, dude. Sonic the Hedgehog is uh man that that character was so beautifully designed I can't even start um they did they did a really good job with it um it was man I still remember the first time I picked up a Sega Genesis and I played Sonic 2 um and and I got to the chemical plant zone and I heard that music and I was just thinking to myself this is amazing you know and like um I don't know. Yeah, that the 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 Sega the Sega era was uh it was a good time. I I really used to like the the Jurassic Park on Sega. Um, that the that one was just a fun game. I love the music, the environment. That game was awesome. I would play it at night, you know, as a as a young kid, like in the fifth grade elementary school, with like the lights down, and um, I would really get into the vibe of it, you know, like the. Jurassic Park was the second movie I ever saw in a theater. My grandmother took me to see it when I was really young. My first was Ninja Turtles. And, um, oh boy, was Jurassic Park just, I lost my mind over that movie. It was insane. Such a, such a great movie. Hey, Johnny Omaha, um, I'm with you on that. Um, actually, I've done a lot of pixel art experiments, um, Affinity Designer and um, and Affinity Photo are just so ripe for doing pixel art. It's crazy. Um, now you make me want to get into it right now because like I want to show you guys all of that that I know. But I've I've figured out all kinds of cool stuff you can do using vector and tra translating it into pixel art using. Basically, if you go over here, um, okay, screw it. I gotta show it. Just, I, 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 
have you ever um i don't know if you've ever gotten into it but okay so if i start a new project um and i change the 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 measurement to pixels and i come down and let's say i want to do like a 32 pixel by 32 pixel sprite i don't the dpi is out the window at this point unless i really want to print this so it doesn't matter so um i can change the colors to rgb so like here if i if i'm if i'm looking at the grid i can go in here and to my um my grid settings where are you yeah grid grid and axis set up a one pixel grid um just just go to basic spacing one pixel and so i can approach this in so many different ways now um, if i want to use my vector tools to sort of help me get started with whatever i'm doing um what, what the cool thing about it is is like say that i want to draw like um let's draw an interesting shape here um I'll draw something like this. Um, let's just draw something like this. Okay. And if I fill this, what I can do is I can come over here to the layer settings and I can go to anti-aliasing. Inherit, I can force it off. All right. And um, what's going to happen for me is... Uh, at some point, wait a minute, am I doing that right? Let me just get the pen tool. Oh, and I want to also go into settings and I want to do tools or general. show lines in points turn that off so I can see pixels and then one more time I want to take another look at my grid and axis just check this out it's it it's it's pretty it's pretty awesome okay we got a one pixel grid all right grab my pen tool Oh, okay, that's it. I put a vector layer down. I change this to force off, right? And then I go to pixel view. There's that. So basically with anti-aliasing, you can force it off or, you know, it, it does, it's depends on what you want to do. You don't have to force anti-aliasing off. Um, that's just if you don't, if you, if you want to absolutely control, if you want to absolutely control the way the pixels are, the pixels are colored by the vector information, you can turn that off. But like, if I come in here and, uh, and if I, you can leave it on or just inherit, it'll give you anti-aliasing, right? But you can go back in and do that with pixel, right? So you can essentially draw out what you need to draw out uh, with your vector tools very easily. So then if you want to use your shape tools, you can come in here and do stuff like this. hey no sweat yeah it's um it's uh i played around with it a lot i was really interested in doing pixel art there are a lot of other apps that make it much easier to do pixel art than affinity but um i think it's viable you can you can do so much with it i i think there are a few other youtubers that have done some videos covering this stuff um but i, I have considered it but you know but I haven't put a lot of effort into actually making it happen. It's just, it's all about having time at this point. But yeah, you can get in. It makes it, it makes the whole experience of creating um, so much, so much different. 
I think it's it's really fun. Uh, so for example, like I think like a fun exercise would be to make like a treasure chest. Um, something like this, brown. You know, and then you can get in here with your uh, you know, oops, your pen tool. And then, of course, if I were to go in and put it on a layer with, with the anti-aliasing forced off. Oops. Put all, put all this stuff into that layer. Now I'm working with, like, vector stuff, but I can, you know, it's... It, the pixels are colored absolutely. And, um... To the pixel. And if you want, you can color vector stuff over the top of this yeah it, it i I, can't, I won't go too deeply into it but that's the gist of it and um not only that is that you can save all this stuff because it's vector you can save it all as assets right so then you can you can just build like these giant pixel art asset libraries that can help you build stuff and you could produce for video games with this i think it's just how how you want to go about doing it i was i i got really enamored with um a sprite for a little while um that's a really another that's another really cool program that you can use all right Guys, I'm 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 almost at two hours and thirty minutes. I think um because it, before it gets too late here, uh, I gotta take my my lovely wife. We, we usually do like a, sort of a, a moonlit stroll, um and I wanna take I wanna take that with her before it gets too late. Um, so I might get off here in about probably once I finish up these um these mouths, I'll probably call it a night. But I will be streaming again tomorrow. I just don't, um, I don't, it's just something I'm, I just decided to just stream this stuff since I'm doing it anyway. And since I'm on vacation right now, all the kids are, it's kind of a summer vacation for the kids here. So, um, we're just kind of doing it. Yes, I agree. It's, it's, it really opens up a lot of doors if to to be able to mix like that <laughs> what maybe i should spread that out a little bit make it uh make make the expression fit well tony oma man i really appreciate you coming by and like uh arthritic you too man it's th been so so great to have you guys around if you have to split don't feel bad i i, I really just yeah man Thanks a lot for dropping by, guys. It's really awesome. Once I once I get these out, once these mouths done, I'm probably gonna jet. Oh, sorry, I'm still in line mode. What am I doing? What am What are you doing? And I gotta stop picking up that mouse, man. All right, let's get some uh, ink on this. There we go. Polygon mode is my jam. I don't know if you guys are familiar with it, but basically you pick the cursor up just a few, you know, you know pixels away from, um, a few pixels away from um, your last dropped node, and then you just draw. Uh, it's just straight lines every time. No fuss, no muss. And so what I want to do is, um, what I'm thinking is, should I wobble these? I, I I don't I I don't want it to look too scary. I feel like it it will do a disservice to the character. But I've already got some really hard angles going, so maybe that's how we want to keep it. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep that. Maybe he maybe he's got some.
just making sure everything stays grouped up. Close it up. Mm, what I want to do is uh, I kind of like a, like maybe the bottom part is is is, is softer. <laughs> That's it. That's the one. <laughs> hey man thanks a lot johnny omaha man you have a great day at work thanks a lot for dropping by i really appreciate it i, I hope you have a good one well we're, we're, i'm gonna rock it again tomorrow maybe i'll start a little bit later um or uh, I, I guess it doesn't really matter because it seems like you guys in the states you, uh, you gotta go to work i understand man it's, a, it's the grind Have a good one, man. Let's see. Break. Where are we going? Break. There we go. Now join. And then let's reset this. And then lower it. Maybe this one can benefit from a little bit of a Peace. This one, this one's good. Maybe that one. Round it a little bit. Oh, so it's got like a double node. There we go. All right. So maybe we fill that with black. Get a little, get a little of this in there. I gotta throw, I gotta throw the, 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 the peace, peace sign in the chat. Peace. All right, anger looks good. Let's uh, let's get out. Shocked. This one was kind of a. All right, look. Copy. Paste. <laughs> All right, this works. Yeah, and then pen tool with line mode. We're good. <laughs> All right, that one's, I, I feel like it's missing something, but we're, we're gonna have to, we're, we'll figure it out. Maybe that's it. Yeah, we'll figure that out later. I feel like um, maybe one of these other mouths is a good candidate for that one. Like this one right here. This one looks good. Let's grab this guy. It's basically the same mouth. It's just a little bit different. It's like, oh, I just need to edit it a little bit. I think this is a good candidate for the warp, the vector warp tool. Um, hear me out. It looks something like this. We go quad. Can we just make some slight changes to it? Like, 
and then this needs to be wrangled in a little bit. Yeah, that's it. We got it. And then convert it to curves. All set. And then this one, I think I showed his teeth. So let's um, let's go back up here where we drew the teeth. Yeah. A little bit of white filling. Still needs to be inside this curve. There we go. Duplicate, flip. I mean, he does have teeth. It's just, you know. If we, if, we, if we have to, we'll get rid of them later. And you know what? I think for this one, we're going to go with this guy right here. And we'll, we'll do the same technique. We'll go vector warp on it. It's like, get it close to where you want it to be at first and then hit it with the vector warp and if that doesn't work then you, you got to go micro but I think this one's going to work vector warp is really powerful let's see I want to add a node here bring this down wait yeah I don't mind that it intersects with his eyebrow too much, but I think I need to rein this one in a little bit. Maybe, um, actually, I need to alter the expression, but... Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Let's see here. Something's not quite jiving over here, but I think it's 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 good enough to where I can I can transform it and then I can come back in here and um, actually yeah that's the part that's not jiving this part is uh, not working out it needs to be altered and then this uh, the main shape of the of the mouth fill needs to also fill that go the same way. Best way to handle that is to just uh, grab the nodes and adjust the handles a little bit to get them out of the way. I'll have to come back to that one. That one's gonna have that one's got a significant challenge to make it look right. But you can really sell this emotion, I think, if you do it right. Let's get this one going. Um, It's not a smile. That's the main thing. Yeah, it can't be a smile. That'll look goofy. He won't look cool anymore. I mean, we're going... We're going Tom Cruise on this one. By the way, uh, the new Mission Impossible movie was pretty good, actually. I really, I kind of liked it. I was surprised. I, I'm so skeptical of everything these days. I don't like anything. Actually, this is not right. But um, the new, the new, the new, um, the new Mission Impossible was hot. I, I liked it. It was, it was a good, it was a good ride. Um, it was a proper, you know blockbuster ride. I really liked it. And man, it's too smiley. 
What are you, what are you doing, man? All right. <laughs> and then. There it is. That's the one. It's got to have like a curly mustache vibe. It's like almost a smile. Too masculine to smile. I like it. All right, last one. Um, I believe that this is the one that makes this one happen. Maybe? Yeah. Just a few alterations. And then, actually, I want to approach this one in a different way. Um, I think I want to get like a square shape for this real quick. So it's like square. Reset the, reset the curve on that. Um, fill it with black, no stroke. And then. Shear it a little bit. Convert to curves. Round it out. This one gets rounded as well. I don't know why I had to approach it in this in this way, but it just seems to be the right way to do it. So that's what I'm doing. Grab this little tomato. No, 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 no. I don't want it to uh, deep in the cur. Yeah, deep in the the crevasse. Yeah, for some reason that works. Um, there's a there's a somethingness to it. Maybe what what I'm thinking is um, maybe I have to. This one requires a little bit of special attention right here. There it is. Uh, what? All right, man. Shall I, shall I, I'm, 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 I don't know what to do. I don't, I don't know what to do with the tears. Um, it's like, are they blue? Like his eyes are maybe, maybe, maybe for this one, the eyes are white because he's crying the blue out of his eyes. So it's like, um, let's try that. Let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we can get that to work. First of all, I'm going to save, uh, make sure all my mouths are grouped up. And I'm actually going to get a subgroup going for my, in case I want to do some mix and matching later on, uh, rename it. We'll just call this one mouths. We'll get these all in here. Cool. Save the project one more time. And then, um, the last thing I'll do is I'll just try to address this sad eyes situation for a second because it is, uh, it's kind of a, it's a, if any of the emotions were to decolor his eyes, it should probably be this one because, um, you know, there's a, there's some kind of a, an impetus or some, there's some kind of something. Man, I could even do like a, a gradient, but I kind of want to stay away from gradients. I kind of want to keep the colors real pure. Um, but yeah. All right. And then how do I approach this? 
I have a plan and it looks like this. We're going to grab We're going to grab this guy. We're going to copy it. We're going to paste it. We're going to move it out of the group. We're going to get it just below the eyes. Whoa. Just below the sad eyes. Yeah. Okay. Almost. I'm just above the sad eyes. Now just below. All right. And so it should be that vector flood fill will, we, let's see, we'll, we'll see if vector flood, flood fill will let us, uh, will make it happen for us. Again, I'm going to put this in the group. Wait a minute, where are those eyes? Where are these? Where are you guys? Okay, so you're in a different group. That's all right, I'm going to, you get it. This is a special situation, so I'm going to put you in there with all these guys. Let's get in there. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Vector flood fill. Will it fill? Dang it. All right, no problem. Let's go. Let's go. Um, we're going to ungroup this. And then we're going to see what we can see with this i have a feeling oops that um all it's going to take is just a little bit of node nudging and we're going to be okay yep that was it all right so we just have to ruin it <laughs> for a minute <laughs> to get it to work no problem cool boom boom and there you go and then now we just go back we put these things back where they belong no fuss no muss Cool. I like that. Oh man. Okay. I am beat. Oh god, we we got I gotta get out and enjoy some fresh air and um take a little walk. Um fill the tears with the blue and drop the set and loom. Let's see. Maybe the drop in the saturation is like a good idea. Somehow. I feel like, I don't know. Well, maybe, uh, well, for me, dropping the saturation, if I'm working with CMYK, it's actually, I'll drop just the, I'll just drop the cyan levels. That looks pretty good. I, I, see, I was, I, I, Hey, Arthritic, thanks a lot for dropping by and hanging out. I really appreciate it. And thanks for the help, get, helping me get my audio sorted. I really uh, appreciate you looking out. That's really nice. Uh, I hope you have a great day at work, man. Um, take care of yourself and keep working hard and stay positive. You know what I mean? Um, if, if you tune in tomorrow, um, I'll, I'll start around the same time and I'll try to, I'm going to try to finish this project up tomorrow. Um, be it on like I'll, I'll what I'll probably do is I'll sit down in the morning and I'll like I'll work out all the details and uh, try to get it like almost finished and then I'll sit down and stream and then I'll try to finish it up and package it up on stream and then I'll submit it the next day um anyway it could be fun to watch uh if you feel like dropping by drop by I, I'll be glad to see you
Peace. <laughs> I love that peace sign. It's, it's real nice. Peace. All right. See you guys. Take care of yourselves. Keep working hard. Stay positive.